All right, so, um, hi, everyone. Oh, that's awkward, don't put that. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Feline and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about AUA and what's gonna happen on your first year of medical school. So yeah, let's get started. So I've been on Instagram a lot lately and I've been getting a lot of questions from you. So we're just gonna go through them because a lot of you guys were asking the same stuff. Okay, the first one is I was wondering if you have any tips or tricks to get by med one since it's going to be re remote learning for us i also did remote honestly the way my schedule works because someone also asked what the class schedule would look like for med one so it depends if you are on the west coast you're usually three hours uh behind you're three hours behind but if you're on the island you're on normal time which is i think lecture would start at 9 a.m or 8 a.m on on the island and small group is usually from 11 11 a.m till 1 p.m so that's how typically my schedule is i'm going to be talking about west coast because i'm in the west coast right now for remote learning and my schedule basically starts at six in the morning for lectures but sometimes i don't attend lectures because it is recorded so i can just watch it on my own time when i actually wake up and my brain is actually working because to be honest my brain is not working at six in the morning um so yeah i would start at 6 a.m typically i wake up before small group because small group is when we have attendance and we have to participate talk to our small group we have facilitators and it was it's i like small group a lot i like my small group personally they're really fun we, we literally talk about anything um our chat box are full of memes during class time we are they're very helpful we all help each other so if you go to the island you all, you definitely have small groups and basically wh whoever your facilitator is will make or break your small group experience from that my class schedule would be from around 8 a.m and that around 10 a.m that small group and then usually i have anatomy lab on thursdays at 11. usually it's every other thursday at 11 a.m until 12. it's only an hour and then every other or it's every two weeks i'm not sure but we have icm icm is basically clinicals that's when we have patient history we take certain tests that those are all online as well for med one we have we have foundations which is biochemistry we have or cell bio molecular bio all, all the bios basically um and then you also have musculoskeletal musculoskeletal system or msk and you have neuro you have behavioral and you have gi so those are all the med one topics that we will be covering in med one um what else exams you have three exams for the whole semester um, exam 1 or CAS 1 is what we call it. It's basically covering foundations. CAS 2 is musculoskeletal, kind of a little bit with foundations because you need to know the physiology of the muscles. And for CAS 3, it's cumulative, cumulative and but there's more percentage towards the new material. And I think it's 20% of MSK and foundations. So that's your thing. For breaks, um, typical um, break, we have summer summer break and winter break. But we don't have summer break, semester break. Okay, next. Mm, did I try to pursue global medicine or the global med track? I personally didn't. I had a minor in global health at UCLA. But when I got into AUA, I decided not to because it, one, it's more expensive two you have to be on the island i think two weeks earlier than the regular med class who isn't part of the program three i don't know how to speak spanish and i'm not fluent in spanish so i don't think that would have benefited me and number four i've heard um from the upper meds that you will be placed in fiu affiliated hospitals which is basically in florida they have a lot of spanish-speaking patients who can only speak spanish and for me i am not fluent even though i will even though AUA has a class that would teach me how to speak Spanish, I feel like I still wouldn't be able to conversate in that short amount of time. So 
overall I opted out and I'm only doing the regular MD program all right mm. oh this one's long okay um, as a student do you feel like you've got the necessary resources to do well in your courses um, if you go to AUA the textbooks will be ebook what the textbooks are actually ebooks that the school provides you only have to put your AUA login code it will lead you to the textbook so that's covered we also have um, since you guys will be online and I was also online we have access to the anatomy website lab kind of like I don't know how to explain it but you do have like a lab portion where you can look at the body if you want we do have resources such as the EED department um, they provide tutoring they have TA sessions they have programs for people who um, students who are struggling or want help with multiple choice analysis problem solving etc um, overall, I think we do have the resources, but a lot of students also tend to look at the outside resources that focuses on high yield stuff because like I said, the exam is through NBME. NBME is basically the ones who write step one questions and our exams are basically retired step one questions. Yeah, that's why people use UC USMLE RX. I have a code right here. You can use it anytime you want. 45% off any no, actually not any. 45% off for the 360 plus. People also use Kaplan. I use Kaplan. I don't use the online platform, but I have the Kaplan textbook that I got from Amazon. Um, people also use Boards and Beyond. That one is circulating all throughout meds. You don't have to buy it. Just ask an upper med and they can give it to you. Um, and yeah, a lot of question banks. So that's what we use. Okay, no. Okay, a lot of people are talking about housing. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing the vlog right now and I realized that the housing part, or like the housing questionnaire that I recorded is pretty long and I still have to add the actual on-campus housing footage. So it's gonna make the video even longer. So I decided to make a part two. So make sure you click subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when exactly I will be uploading part two of this whole AUA med one thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever you guys want. Down below, I'll be reading all the comments and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.